So as you could tell by the thumbnail, um, I bought my first boat and the best part is, is that it is sitting in the trunk of my Chevy Cruze. So it will be compatible with the car that I have and I'll actually be able to get a lot of usage of it. And just today for the first video, I decided I'm gonna do a little setup of it. Haven't touched anything. It's gonna be just a complete unboxing and yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it looks like, but I'll explain more as it's getting set up and you'll find out really quick. It's of course not a true boat. It's an inflatable boat, but it's gonna get me a lot of lake access on calmer waters. And then if it's not windy out, um, I'll be able to go onto the bigger lakes around me. Um, like I've said before, I'm located around the Iowa Great Lakes. So some of the smaller lakes that are loaded with fish, um, this will really allow me to get to them and especially fly fishing. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk anymore. Just gonna get it out, get it set up and do a first float test and get my first reviews and then cast around and do a little fishing from the uh, beach with my buddy Seth. But yeah, nice afternoon out, Thursday evening after work and I'm gonna see if we can catch something. Interesting. The one like review of this I have seen that had a foot pump. Yeah. I'll get out of here. Mm. Wait. You can be in it. Yeah, but I'll just. I, yeah. I keep wanting to stand in front of the uh, um, camera. <laughs> yeah. So here's the box. Yeah, that is nice. I thought it was gonna be a foot pump. Yeah. Oars, easy. Thin pump. You got your three seats. <laughs> nice. And the floor, and then the repair kit. Cool. What was it? Oh, the repair kit. Let's get right into this. I'm actually going to time this. I'm curious how long this will take.
So for a first time in knowing nothing, 13 and a half. It's not bad at all. So yeah, here's first look at my new boat. It's pretty sweet. 13 minute setup, first time. Just right out the box. Super light and easy. I'm gonna put a battery back here and get a uh, trolling motor on this. Hopefully get it set up with a depth finder. Um, not a fish finder or a live scope, because I don't think I really need any of that. Just like a little depth finder, just something to give me depth. Um, bottom structure, if it's weedy, rocky, um, stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go put it in the water and give this its first float test and float around in it and then do some fishing from shore. Maybe some casts from this as well. But yeah, let's get in the water. Yeah. But you know when it's off the strip, or when, it, <laughs> when it's not on the strip, it, it looks fast. When it's on that pause. Yeah, yeah. Pause, she freaking balloons up like a beluga. About 10 minutes ago, I took my first float out on it, the first float test. Got a little bit of drone footage now. I'm gonna go for my first uh, cast test in this thing. See how I can cast out of it. on the little vessel out on a big lake it is pretty windy right now but we're on the side that's protected from the wind but yeah it's gonna be hard to hoard this right now with this seat in the way let me see if I can change that move a few casts off out of this See how my balance is. Yeah. Yeah, this thing honestly moves pretty nice with the paddles. I'm not gonna lie. If I get them a little longer to properly fit this thing, it's faster than I thought. And there's some wind right now. Yeah. And like you said, if I actually put that rudder in too, Oh yeah, I can comfortably cast from this. And after a few times getting used to the balance. Right on the corner pocket. But I 
What? Oh, yeah. How? <laughs> True, yeah. Okay, well, first day review of my new boat, Savage Gear E-Rider 300, I think is what it's called. Absolutely amazing. I love it already, and I cannot wait to get this thing into full gear, which should be soon. Next week, we're getting steady, warm weather, which means I'm gonna have this thing in my trunk and fish every day, whether it's from this or from the uh, shore with my buddy Seth. We'll be putting in the work on these spring bass, hopefully pike, walleye, honestly, whatever. But yeah, we're going to move to a different spot now that we're going to go just break down with conventional fishing gear and see if we can get into some bass.